to our overwhelming success. Yes. In more ways than one. What do you mean? Not only is my new host body immune to the ravages of my ever-expanding mind, It also holds an ancillary benefit. I am nothing without you. And now all of me is with you once more. Let's temper our celebration with conviction. Our plans have yet to reach their apex. What is that? Dark matter. Siphon from the room where Dr. Wells was charging his counterfeit cap. As I predicted, his hubris was his undoing. And so now, the fire that burns down Team Flash. We'll also light the path to the Enlightenment. What is good YouTube, Watch you here, if you're into the Flash Season 4, this is a channel for you, so think about subscribing. So last night's episode of The Flash was called Lose Yourself, which is an Eminem song, but it had no correlation to what actually happened, and we didn't get Cisco bust any freestyling, like, Lose Yourself music song, we didn't get any ridiculous, like, Lose Yourself karaoke moment, like we got on Supergirl, because this show isn't aimed at 12-year-old girls, so let's get into uh, this video. So we're going to break down down the flash season 4 episode 18 so careful for spoilers so this week's episode was centered around defoe catching all the pokemon uh, i just make the reference pokemon really catching all the metahumans and wrapping up the metahuman kind of he needs all the metahumans to bring the enlightenment so him and marley's the mechanic wrapped up that whole storyline so how we're going to do this video today is we're actually going to go from the back of the video from the back of the episode to the start because it's more interesting so ralph sadly died. He died just like I said he would because it only made sense to story for Clifford DeVoe, the thinker, to get all the metahumans or else if he didn't get all the metahumans then the whole plan wouldn't have made any sense throughout the whole show. Although Harrison Wells did make a tech-less device called the Sectum Sphere, I think it was called, to kind of knock out DeVoe. It did actually work, but due to Barry Allen killing, I see, I actually blame Barry Allen. Barry Allen killed Ralph, in my opinion. Why? Because Barry Allen kept saying, you can't kill, you can't kill. So what happened to Reverse Flash then, and Zoom, and Savitar? I guess you could say they were raised from the timeline, but a death is a death, in my opinion. So Barry Allen did kill Ralph, in my opinion, because he's like, heroes can't kill, heroes can't kill, yet Iris West shoots Savitar in the back and then he dies so I don't really get how it's all right for him to do it and then no one else I think that's one of the kind of the downfalls of this show that the showrunners don't uh, don't let the actual main star don't let the flash kill anyone because he never kills anyone in the comics oh wait he does and the, the show never lets him run back in time anymore it's like a safe spot where no a speedster can't run back in time because we did the whole flashpoint storyline so it would create a whole new story so ralph died but how they did it was pretty cool they did it in such a cool way where where when ralph turned into new devoe he had a speech like you taught him well and we kind of got the foreshadowing early in the episode where we got a flashback to him being a douche not paying his bus fare but ultimately ralph died and he could have taken out devoe he had devoe knocked down but he decided to put him in stupidly put him in the metathemum dampening puffs which are based on technology so he used the kilgore but what was actually something pretty cool was i didn't see this coming is he took killer frost powers so killer frost caitlin snow no longer has any 
powers, which is really interesting. So what was pretty interesting, which I didn't think they'd do, is they had uh, essentially Harrison Wells go mental and he fused himself with the dark matter and basically knocked himself out. I mean, they didn't really explain much, but later on, we seen him in, in a scene with Caitlin Snow trying to figure out why she felt different. It's because her meta human powers have gone. So hopefully they explain in the next couple of episodes what's going on there. But the most interesting thing was the post credit scene or the ending, I guess you could call it when Ralph DeVoe the thinker turned back into Neil Sandeland the original thinker's body and he's got a bit of a haircut but he predicted that, that exactly that Harrison Wells downfall would be he'd get obsessed with power and then we've seen the plan all along was to get some dark matter and he going to bring the enlightenment although it's not obvious what they're going to do it looks like it's some massive generator or i don't know it's really hard to make out what it actually is there being an image over the screen now so let me know in the comment box down below it looks like some massive power generator that's going to release something um i can't see it being the case of them releasing the dark matter onto central city and everyone turning into species i think it's to do with making everyone smarter because he was a teacher he wanted to teach people he wanted to make people better better so although he's been quite evil in the overall plan i don't think his plan is actually evil overall which is kind of interesting to me at least so whether harrison wells is going to be turned into the reverse flash is neither here or there but it was pretty interesting and overall i did actually really start to like ralph in this episode and then ultimately they barry allen killed him off in my opinion i know people will disagree with this but it was his fault. He could have killed DeVoe, but he didn't. But what was interesting is we found out that Edwin Gauss got them into the actual thinker layer but the thinker predicted this and he foreshadowed he forecasted everything so the thinker might be like the boring as i call him the boring thinker he might be a boring villain but he actually is pretty smart so now we know that the pocket dimension can be re reached via other people's abilities but now seeing that the thinker has edwin gaust inside him as well there's no way for them to get in the thinking layer at all now and now they are two members down because although they've got caitlin snow they've got like the scientist insider they don't have killer frost abilities they don't have ralph so team flash are getting smaller and smaller as it goes along so guys let me know in the comment box down below do you think barry allen was the cause of ralph death i really think it's all ralph's sorry i really think it's all barry allen's fault because they pre keep preaching on you can't kill anyone why can't a, why can't a speedster kill someone because they turn into reverse flash no why can't barry allen use run back in time because it's going to create flashpoint no the flash showrunners this year i don't know what they're doing but for some reason the storyline is only just about starting to get good although i did like this episode i try to be transparent what i think about these episodes although i do think it was a good episode there was so many flaws in this logic they could have just killed him off but i understand if they killed devo off then the season's over and they've got to build build that anticipation to episode 23 so hopefully we will get more more Gideon scenes it was interesting that Gideon tried to stop Harrison Wells saying you're going past the parameters that you set up he's like no maximum power and then we see him on the floor so what are the ramifications going to be for Harrison Harry Wells I think he's going to have some brain damage maybe not brain damage uh, he's going to have some issues with his brain he's going to be a bit kind of not here and there but I'm guessing he's going to have some of the meta human kind of dark matter still running inside him so i wouldn't be surprised if he's gained some kind of power or meta human ability due to it i mean it doesn't mean it's just going to case that he's smart because he's naturally smart so it's going to be interesting to see what meta human ability he has actually gained so i guess we're going to title this video something like rest in peace killer frost barry allen kills ralph because realistically he did guys so let me know in the comment box down below guys did you love this episode did you hate it just let me know what you think are you happy that neil sanderland is back but spoiler warning ralph is back on set the actor who plays ralph is batting back in vancouver so we are going to see him back in episode 23 which is the finale which is called we are the flash 
So let me know, guys. Do you think he's go he's gone forever? Do you think they could realistically? It is a comic book show they could bring back. And what is Devoe's plan? Is it being revealed now? We know it includes dark matter. What is he going to try and engage? I mean, we can see some plans, but realistically, we can't really see much. And is Marley, the mechanic, going to be his downfall? Is she going to betray him? Most likely. Anyway, guys, I've been Walsh Jew. This has been a video about episode 18, Lose Yourself. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell button as YouTube has always got this problem where the videos don't even appear, even if you subscribe to people. Anyway, I will catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch you later.